The Chattanooga food scene is a hot spot and an Uber driver from out of town made his way through the area just to get a taste of the local cuisine. Our Elise Wick has his story. Army veteran and Instagram foodie Kreskin Torres made his way through town after bringing a rider from Knoxville to Chattanooga. He says he is inspired to try local cuisines during his Uber trips nationally to learn about the locals' lives and interests. This interest all started after a visit to the UK. So hey everybody, this is Arash here, foodie. We are back on the road. When I got back to America, I was just like, I want to to explore my country now. I want to see, you know, what it's like in somebody else's uh, town or city and uh, put myself in somebody else's shoes. Torres started driving Uber to make his way around the country, learning about the local cuisines and cultures. He couldn't wait to make it to Chattanooga to try all of the fix-ins that he heard so much about. I have to get creative, so I was just like, why not drive Uber and Lyft? Something I'm doing already is a great way to explore the city and talk to people that live there. His trip to Chattanooga originated with a pickup of a local Chattanooga resident returning home after a visit to a Knoxville hospital. While in town, he says his biggest efforts are to support local businesses. To be able to go everywhere and support local business and to actually, you know, build relationships with people and get to learn about, you know, like them and, you know, where they grew up. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. And then all the locals just, they gave me the best places to go. His first stop was at Sugar's Ribs, and then he made his way to Menlo Park Grocery to grab Penny's Lemonade and Sharon's Chattanooga Bread Pudding. I needed it. Her name is Sharon. Sharon, Sharon this is, I've <laughs> never had banana bread pudding, and this is amazing. What I look for is something that the place is known for traditionally, and, you know, what is, whatever the staples are and the story behind where the staples are come from the different dishes and how they came to be and that's what i'm trying to you know showcase and teach you know my followers or whoever we're gonna bless you with not only your catfish plate right here he paid a visit to uncle larry's hot fish and ended his journey with davis waynes for the meat and three staple dish but if i was to come back you know my first would be the menlo park grocery so it's like i think five or six seven different people that like have like snacks and things that they make and like as far as a small business inside the grocery store. And he says what he loved the most about the Chattanooga food scene was the welcoming hospitality. He says food is a common ground and hopes to bring awareness of food and culture nationally. You can find more information about his foodie travels on our website or by opening up the Local 3 News app. Reporting in the studio, Elise Zwick, Local 3 News.